this video is how to edit or add things to your side panel or widget area. And it's called a widget area if it's anything on the side. Sometimes your footers are called widgets. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some plugins here because there's some plugins that will have an increased ability for us to add things. So I'm going to add the image widget. Because a lot of people like to add images to their side panels. And I like the one with the lady that has the little hat. So I'll just go ahead and install that. I'm also, for this example, going to add a WooCommerce, which is the shopping cart program. I'm only going to add this so that you can see how to add your shopping cart checkout to your side panel. We'll go ahead and add the WooCommerce in here. And I'm also going to add an event calendar because some people like to have their upcoming events on their side panel or widget area. And the one I have a lot of people use is this, um, either this The Event Calendar or the All-in-One Event Calendar. Both of them are really nice. We'll just do this install now on this one so that we'll have opportunity to put those events on the side panel also. Okay, so I have two or three things here now added. So I'm going to go Appearance, I'm then going to go to Widgets, and you can see I have a primary area, secondary area, and some footer areas. So we're going to add something to this primary widget area. So we're going to add an image because I loaded the image widget. So things that are on this side of the page are what I have available to add. And you can see here that I added the WooCommerce cart. And I also have an event list up here and a menus and this image widget. So I'm going to pull this image widget over here. And I'm going to select an image. And I just have this one loaded into my media library. So we'll use it. I'm going to insert into the widget area. And now you'll see that I have an opportunity to do what I want. So I'm going to take out this title, but I'm going to put the word title so you can see where it would show up in the event that you put something there. And this I'm going to put caption so you can see where the caption would show up. And then I can come down here and I can choose the size of the image if I brought in a very large image. I may need to make it medium or large or a different size, but we'll leave it at full size because it was a fairly small image that I brought in. You can also center it. And then if you want to send it to a special link or another website, you would put that address in this bar here. And I always do open in a new window. That way it doesn't close my current website. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. If I visit the site now, you'll see what I did. Visit site. And there is the picture. And up here would be the title. If I wanted to put one, if I didn't want to, I would just leave that blank. And underneath it, I could include a caption. So let's go add something else to this widget area. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I'm going to go Appearance Widgets. And I'm back to where I was before. Let's look at some other options. What if you want to put a menu over here where people can pick from different items? So you hold your mouse down on the word menu and bring it over here and then let it go. If you've, you have to create a menu before you can place a menu on the side, but it'll ask you what menu. And I have a menu that I've created in here. So the menus will all be located here. So I'm going to put the menu here and the title I'll put here. So we'll save that. And now we'll look at our site. And you can see that I have an entire menu of different things. Now, you have to create this menu, and that's covered in a different video. But this is how you add a menu to the sidebar. Let's go back to our dashboard and go Appearance and Widgets. If you change your mind and don't want something over there, you just hold your mouse down and drag it off. So it's kind of a drag and drop system which makes it very easy. You can bring over a calendar. 
Here's what I like this event list. If you have an events plugin on your website that you're adding events to, which I loaded for this video, you would bring your event list over here and I'm going to just let it go. See, you move it above or below the picture. We'll put it below it for right now. And it has upcoming events and you can show however many you want, maybe three events. And then you can show widget only if there is an upcoming event. I didn't put any events in here, but this is how you would be able to show upcoming events. If you don't have any upcoming events and you pick this, it won't show this plugin at all. Okay, so let's do a save on that. And you can close it and you'll see it'll continue to stack them. I'm going to bring in your shopping cart. A lot of people like to use the shopping cart option on their side menu. So I'm going to put that right here. And this is the cart. And I'm going to put hide if the cart is empty. That means if I don't have anything in the cart, it will hide it. But when I add something to the cart, it will pop up on the side menu and total it and tell them what's in the cart, how much it cost, and there will be a total. And then there'll be a button that says proceed to checkout. So that's how you would add your shopping cart. Now a lot of people would like to add something like, let's see what other choices we have here. If you want to just write your name and your address, you can bring in text. We'll put some text up here, put contact us, and you could put in your entire address. Don't save typing it here. Get some address. And there's my address and all my information. And if I wanted to make it into paragraphs, I would hit automatically add paragraphs. And go ahead and hit save and close. So right now on my side panel I have my contact information, I have a cart which is going to hide because I'm not going to hide it if it's empty because I don't have any products to add to the cart at this point. And then I have the picture that I loaded and then I have an event list. The more things that you have available on this side, the more things you can add to the different areas. There's um, apps and plugins for all kinds of things such as weather. You can bring in a YouTube video. You can, I'm going to show you actually how to bring in a YouTube video. Let's do that quick. So you'd go over to YouTube. And I'll bring in this other video here. This is a vid another video I've created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share and I'm going to pick embed. I'm going to hit more so I can make some choices. And it's small because my side area is fairly small so I'm going to pick the small one. I'm going to always turn off suggest videos from other when the video finishes. I don't like on my website to have videos pop up from someone else. And then you can have the controllers and show the video. And we'll go ahead. And what you need to do is you need to highlight this entire embed code, which is located right here above the video. It says embed. I'm going to copy this entire embed code, which is located above the video. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back over to my widget area and what you'll need to do in this case is bring over a text box because it says text or HTML. So I'll bring over the text box and I'll put YouTube so you'll know. And then I'm going to paste that entire code in. Now when you paste it in you're going to see that the width and the height may be too wide for your area. So you can change this to say 260 by 200. That's just a guess. You'll see what it looks like when we're done. And now I'm going to close this. And here we go. I'm going to look at my side pen. So it should have my YouTube, my contact, my cart, my title, and my upcoming events. Let's take a look. And you see my video there. It needs to be resized. It's not, it's too long and not too wide. 
and then there's my contact information, my cart, which you could hide because it had no product in it, but I didn't pick that so you could see where it came up, and then my titles, and then my upcoming events. And this, I guess I did have some events saved in here, so here those events are. And it would go directly over. What happens is when the event is over, it goes off of the side panel, so you don't have to continue to always edit your website. So that's a nice way to keep track of things. So this is how you've, we've added things to a widget area. Hopefully that was helpful. And I'm going to head back to my dashboard. Thank you for joining me and see our other videos that are located on webfootmarketing.net.